welcome to the Woods Miller channel. So we're at our job today. Uh, we just got here. Uh, have a look here. So a couple dead uh, white spruce here. Pretty, pretty small trees. I mean, that one's really small, but just leaning out super dead. <laughs> but I don't have to climb that one too far, maybe uh, 20 feet or so and just get the top out and then just drop the rest. This one, I probably got to climb up. Uh, we got a hydro line right behind it, so just got to make sure it doesn't fall off the back there. But um, yeah, I don't know, probably get about a push a 10 foot top out of it. We got some ground here to, to drop. So simple, simple tree. So uh, that slice was about an hour drive out here. So but beautiful spot, eh? Like we're out here on Lake Superior. Nice, beautiful fall day. So yeah, nice, easy job today and we got to clean it up. So anyway, let's get to her. Well, Upon further review, yeah, I won't be climbing into this one. Um, she leans out pretty good there. I don't even know how this thing is standing. Like, it is literally broken <laughs> right at the bottom. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing left here. It's basically completely snapped at the bottom here. I don't even know how it's still standing there. The only thing I can think is it's uh, there's a couple spruce right here and it's just kind of holding on to a couple of the branches, you know, way up in there. That is the only way that this thing is still standing here, which is crazy. At least this one here, this is the one we got to climb. So, uh, not much for branches on this side here, and we'll see on the outside there. So, yeah, she leans out over here again. You know, she's 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 very dead. Not not as quite as dead as this one, but um, I got to take her slow because I don't yeah, unless I move that. Anyway, we should be okay in that one. So, we'll get up, get the top out. This one, I think I'm just gonna put a rope on it and just pull it over. I don't even need to cut it. I can literally put a rope on that <laughs> and just pull it over. So, I just gotta pull it that way, just making sure I'm not gonna be running into this, so. Okay, so, I just threw a line on this. Got it about halfway up this tree. Got her tied off here. So I gotta pull it out of this tree here, so. So I gotta counter pull, cause it's gonna wanna basically fall off here, which I don't really want it right here, just because, you know, the stair is the deck. So I'm gonna counter pull this direction and just fight those branches a little bit. And hopefully I should be able to get it to a boat down in here. So I gave that some pretty good tugs there. So I don't have great leverage on it. I only put my rope about halfway up it. It's not very big, but still, 
um, the leverage that the adjacent tree has on that in holding it by a couple branches, it's got more dominant leverage on that than I do. As rotten and decayed and broken as it is at the bottom, it's crazy, but it's it's hanging on for dear life. It's it's pretty remarkable actually. So I'm just gonna get going up up this one here. Um, I'll probably just set a line in it and maybe swing over and just kind of piece that one out. Uh, obviously, I don't want to straight up climb that thing because it's completely broken off the stump really a disintegrated rotten stump so uh without being tied in to the other dead tree uh i don't really want to go over to that one so that's going to be the plan um these aren't huge they shouldn't take too long so uh but let's uh, get suited up and get going So, yeah. Let's see. We'll have to pick our moment once we're up there. Uh, our quiet moment because we've we got some gusting wind going on here. So, all right, I gotta get this stuff out of here. See, it's kind of a not the greatest uh, action camera or whatever, but it's what I got. So, <clears throat> yeah, at some point I'm gonna swing over. I need a bit higher of a rope here. If I can get right over to here and cut the top out, because I'm gonna have to wrestle with it to get it out of the branches of this tree here. So, but we're gonna keep going up here. Get this limbed, get the top out, and then I'll look at maybe deal with that and then get the rest of this out. I'm gonna be leaving stubs as I go with this lean we got here they do help with balance because I don't have to rig anything out so they're not gonna be in the way of that so and there's people that are fan of that I know I've seen Buck and Billy Ray talk about it oh yeah you don't want to rock her too much <laughs> You don't want to be rocking this boat too much. Keep my line coming here free. Oh. Yeah, let's keep some of it back down here. I'm going to need it at some point. trees but <laughs> it's all part of the job I guess once I get up start get up into the little bit smaller wood I'm gonna I'm not gonna flip anymore I'm gonna place so I'm not I'm making at least amount of rocking on this uh, it is pretty dead I mean it's split up Look pretty good. Pretty much actually all the way up the tree. <laughs> so and we got gusting wind going here, so I mean trees are strong, they're resilient. Still, you know, it's just you know, 
always try to give yourself the most peace of mind as possible. So you don't need to you wanna poke the bear or whatever the saying, whatever there's gonna be lots of sayings I guess, right? But, just about at our topping spot I think from the ground I was kind of looking at this little bendy spot somewhere in there that leaves us about a 15 foot top and we got the hydro line right back here so we don't want it going back here but we've got gusting wind coming from the east here so it's blowing in our favor plus pretty much any branches that are on this and a little bit of the lean is going in our favor as well so there shouldn't be any issues with just cutting the top and having it fall just right down into here we're going to get up another seven eight feet and then do our top there climb a bit just you know try to stay a little tighter as we keep bending out right and getting to smaller wood so um, just try to keep as much rocking out of it as, as I can I mean we got enough with the gusting wind here so whatever I can do to help less than that I'm gonna try to do so yeah, we're gonna get up another maybe five feet there. So a little more, a little more cutting here, a little more climbing. But, uh... So I was hoping to have a little more foot stands, but there's not really much for branches around this area here. So they're nice for handles too, right? They help keep balance. So you do actually kind of bend back here a little bit. Hmm, interesting. I don't really see that from here. This tree actually kind of ends up straightening up, twisting back here. But nonetheless, still leans out over here, so. The branches are there, so we're good. So, nice and easy here. She's just a little crispy here. A little crispy, a little leany, a little gusty. Kind of got it all in this one. Just here comes a little bit of one. So once I get close to my cut, if there's a gust going, obviously I'm going to let it die out. And just be ready with the saw to, to get her going once that last gust fades out. And then hopefully we get a little break there. Enough to get the top out without having the factor of a a swirl of wind on it so usually ideal so yeah we're gonna be pretty good there so okay yeah nice and easy up here I mean that split is still literally spans this whole tree like <laughs> near the bottom and all the way up Big old split is coming up the back side of it here. The back side of the lean. So, gonna hold on to our horse here. So, we got the gust just started picking up here again a little bit. So, once this 
one dies down. Probably even put the face in. See if I can do that stuff now. I was just holding on for the gust there for a sec. She's just kind of rolling around pretty good. Handlebars here. I put my cut in. I have it up here. I gust again. Ooh. Hold on to your horses. So. Okay. We gotta get her somewhere around there. Let's go for it. We're gonna have about a yeah about a 15 foot top here or so. The wind is just kind of dying down a little bit here. Just want to make sure I got good pull here. So I got the handlebar, and then I can push on her there. So we should be good. a bit of a top out of this here. Yeah. So the thing is, it's so, like even if I cut it here, like, I don't know if I can push it out, like it's just... She's, uh... Boy. Oh, let's cut a little bit of this crap out of here. 
makes a little more room. So, I don't know. Somehow this freaking thing is holding me so far. I'd be interested to see when I cut the top out if at that point then it snaps. And that's why I have this line here. Well, I wanted to swing over, but also I wanted to be tied in to a, a different tree other than this. Oh god, so I'm gonna cut a few of these here. <laughs> to help with a little bit of balance if we get a lanyard here. Even if it's just around like it doesn't have to be around much. Like it's literally just for balance. So let's put it around here. <clears throat> That's fine. Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, so let's get up on the footing here. So we're probably gonna try and cut this top out. Somewhere around here, and I'm hoping you know, I'm gonna be able to wrangle it out from in these branches here. So I've left some branches here, just hopefully I can pull it. If not, I'm gonna have to potentially go down. I should have brought that rope up with me. I left it tied onto here. I don't know why, but. But we'll try to cut it and hopefully we can push it out. And we gotta be prepared in case this snaps. Because it could snap out at the base. Once this this hold of the top is gone, it's not really holding down here. So it could potentially snap at that point. So I gotta be ready for that. Plus I'm still tied to it really, right? So <clears throat> So I might even undo that one. Just and you know what? I'll even just tie off around like some little freaking limb like that. It's just for stability. I don't need a a crazy crazy hold. No, not really a lot going on there. And I don't have my handsaw either. You know what, I might use the green one. It might get over a little bit easier. If I can like toss it around. Even that branch there. That's good enough. Good enough balance. Get this crap out of the way here. Now if I'm gonna be able to reach this as well. Oh yeah, we'll get that. Come on, girl. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so that should help with a little bit of balance while I do the cut here. Let's see, I'm going to try to cut her from around here. And hopefully, I'll be able to get it out and without it hitting down there either. I mean, it wouldn't be anything long hitting there. I know that. But she's, she's kind of freaking held there, man. So, a bit of a skank here, if you will. About a 20 foot top, so it's it's close. If it, if it went over there. lots to consider right it could this bottom decided to snap out 
I should maybe even put my wedge there for now if I can. Where is that little bugger? There he is. Just to keep it from kind of buckling back. Now I'm going to have to try to get a rope and pull that top out. I just, I don't see any other way about it. I think that's kind of my only option at this point. I don't want to take too much. We're still holding there pretty good. A little thin over here. But, cause yeah, it's just not, it's, it's so held there. I can see really a couple big main sort of holdups right at the top, which is like right where its leverage is, right? So yeah, I just, I don't want this snapping back. And like I seen, if it did, yeah, it probably wouldn't go there, but still. Yeah, she's sitting on there pretty, pretty hard. It's just really hung up. Um, yeah, and then, geez, hey, ground man, can you do that work for me? Thanks. <laughs> well, we're going to leave this tree for the moment. I put a cut in. It's too held up. It's too held up there. So we got a cut there. I'm going to go deal with this stem here. And then I'll go down, get the rope out and re-get it a little bit higher and see if I can pull this top out and then the rest we can just drop I mean <laughs> I can't believe this thing is standing there it is so rotted out but we got to get back over we got to get back over to this tree now and get this one done here so okay let's, uh, let's do her Yeah, that turns out to be the trickiest tree out of them. Just because this one was bigger uh, doesn't mean anything. That's that that one's been the challenge of the job, and it's still not down. So I got to cut in. You see, I got a wedge sitting in it. So. I'm hoping I can pull that top out. Yeah, because I don't want it bending and then falling backwards. We've got hydro back here, so I mean it shouldn't, but anyway, I need a higher rope in that. So I'm gonna deal with this one and, and then get over to there. drop the rest of the peg and then we gotta pull that rope out re throw a rope hopefully snap the top of that out we'll see this thing is such a <laughs> oh man what a uh, what a skanky twig there yeah that's the toughest tree toughest tree of the day right there there's no doubt about it So I'm going to leave this rope up here. Okay, let's get this off here. Geez, well, I just pulled the tree over and uh, forgot to hit record. So anyway, here's what happened with it. That dead disintegrated one that was tangled up there so we literally just i got my rope in a little bit higher you know 
and just pulled her over. So I'm gonna show you how rotten this thing was. So I put, I didn't put one cut in this. Like, <laughs> I don't know how long that's been standing, but it's been probably standing for years that rotten. Literally zero left in it. And it was holding on by like two skinny little branches up in this tree that were basically just kind of, you know, twisted onto a couple little branches. Like, anyway, yeah, it would've been, a, it was a good little crash there, so, but. So, anyway, uh, just gotta get that one peg there and clean up and this job is done. <laughs> Well, that's it for that. It's got everything cut up and thrown into the trailer. So thanks for checking the vid if you did and we'll catch you on the next one.